What is up guys welcome back today we're gonna taking a look at a brand new free to play looter shooter game called the first descendant it's an upcoming game you probably never heard about this game before but right now the game is hosting its cross play open beta until the 25th of september which means if you decide to try out the game yourself you still got at least couple of days time to do so anyway i already spent few hours in the game and i'm super excited to share my experience and my overall first impression about the game so without further ado guys let's get right into it Alright guys, for those who are wondering what is this game about, it's an upcoming free to play third person looter shooter style of a game which is developed and published by Nexon Games which is a major game developing company in Korea releasing free to play games like Cartwright Adrift, Wild Expert and most recently Warhaven. Anyway, the first season is an upcoming game, right now it's going through its open beta period and I believe the full release of this game is going to be by the early 2024 and comparing with some of the other free to play titles in the market, you will see a lot of similarities to the games like Destiny 2 and Warframe which are both very popular looter shooters. I personally haven't spent a lot of time playing these type of looter shooter games but if you are someone who's familiar and coming from these type of games like Warframe you feel right at home and a lot of the gameplay elements are going to be very similar and very familiar. It's primarily a co-op shooter but there is no class system in the game right now but you get access to a full roster of characters each comes with a very unique set of active and passive skills and abilities and each character feels very unique and valuable in a different way in the battlefield for an example some of the characters are very good at crowd controlling and some of them have very high dps attacks and some of the characters play more of a supportive role and others are more tanky and durable and able to take more hits and that is kind of the general idea but you will see a lot of similarities especially when it comes to abilities with some of the other games it's definitely overwhelming at first but you will get the hang of it after a few hours of playing all right when you start the game for the first time you get to pick from three starter characters or in this game they're called descendants and you can simply choose whoever you like and they are all pretty much well balanced characters and after that you will drop into the first area of the game where the game kind of give you a simple introduction and also explaining basic movement gameplay mechanics and abilities and also surprisingly give you a very nice introduction to characters world building and the general storyline of the game and honestly i was so attached to it from start to the end because it was so well made with high budget cutscene and character animation and also sound which is something we can expert from a company like Nexon. <laughs> And afterward you will drop into the first major area of the map and that is called Albion which works as the main hub of the game where you can simply interact with other players, upgrade and customize your weapons and characters and also to accept different campaign missions and objectives. Then the game forces you to go through the main campaign of the game where you simply have to complete missions, earn loot and upgrade your gear along the way. The gameplay loop is very similar to some of the other looter shooter games out there and completing these missions and different enemy encounters will drop you weapon upgrades, components and various type of module to upgrade your descendant. So keeping necessary loot and components and managing your inventory is a major part in this game. If you decide to play single player this game you can definitely do that or you can simply rally up with up to four of your friends and start playing co-op which is definitely the more fun way to play. If you don't have friends don't worry because you can simply join other random players just by helping them and joining them on their missions or you can simply invite them to your lobby. And each company objective or main mission give you XP to your character and your weapons increasing your overall stat, overall strength and your survivability in the battlefield. I only had the chance to try the game out for the initial few hours and the starting missions are very easy and also give you a very decent amount of upgrades and loots. And talking about upgrades there are a lot of things you can do where you can simply upgrade your weapons and improve their overall stat by modding them and also to find different components to upgrade your descendant. There is a lot of things to look into especially if you are new to these type of looter shooter games so i'll definitely planning to spend some time and progress through the game in the upcoming few days and i'm super excited for the full release of this game and i hope you guys get a general idea and kind of a first impression about how i feel about the game and overall i would say it's a really fun game especially the gunplay is very solid and responsive the characters animations graphics and the sounds are also very impressive as expected and finally we're gonna talk a bit about the performance of the game as well and overall performance is very good and i 
played the game on a very capable system on pretty much higher settings possible and I never had any issues with game crashing or low FPS drops or anything like that only when the things are really get intense with a lot of things happening in the game with a lot of explosion a lot of enemies coming at you the frames are tend to drop a little bit below the 60 FPS but other than that there's no any major issues with the game overall performance is very solid and also the system requirements are very acceptable in 2023 as of minimum system requirement wise you need to have an i5 3570 which is a pretty old cpu at this point released back in 2012 and also 8 gigs of ram as expected and also nvidia gtx 1050 ti 4 gigs version which is kind of the bare minimum vram that you need to have in 2023 anyway guys if you decide to try out the game yourself you still got some time to do so so definitely go ahead and check out their steam page and down below you'll find a button to request access for the open beta and you can simply download and try out the game the download size is around 20 gigs pretty acceptable so definitely give it a try and i highly recommend you guys to do so so finally guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did go ahead and drop a like and also a subscribe to my channel because we cover tons of free to play games and also if you had the chance to try the game out yourself definitely let me know down below what do you think about the game as well i catch you guys soon in my next video stay safe